so bad I was in the ER several times a month. Wow. If I hadn't had my kids and my grandkids, I probably wouldn't be here. Why do you think you were able to get off those medications? Hello, today I am speaking with the lovely Angie and she herself is on a carnivore journey and she's going to tell us a little bit about that. And so Angie, how did you arrive to eating this way? Through my daughters. Um, my daughter, Rebecca, has been carnivore for a little over three years now. And my twins have always been real health conscious when it comes to their eating. And um, they started the whole 30 stuff a while back. And Marie is kind of carnivore, but she eats other stuff. But Rebecca is strict carnivore. And um, I've been having health issues for a long time now. And Rebecca was like, Mom, if you'll do this carnivore thing. She actually signed me up for the first three months with Dr. Lisa and I'm in oh, her wow. group and she's like, I'll pay for the first three months. So I did the summer challenge with Dr. Lisa and she said, I'll help you do whatever I need to do to help you. And that's how I got started with it. And the first couple of weeks, you know, with that, I gave up July 1st was my first day. I gave up all the sugar, you know, coffee, um, <laughs> all wow. plants, which I wasn't eating a lot of plants because it, I, I, yeah. So I gave everything up, alcohol and, um, on July 1st. And so it was rocky the first couple of weeks, you know, I had that carnivore flu kind of thing going on. It wasn't real bad, but, um, yeah went really good for a while. I lost quite a bit of weight. Um, things started changing right away. I, my sleep right away, that was the best because I actually had obstructive sleep apnea, but I had oh, a wow. bed that raises up. So I wasn't, you yeah. live with me for a couple of months. When, so, um, and I had trouble getting sleep. So when I get up, I'd still be out here drinking my coffee and nodding off, you know, during the day. And I noticed right, right. away that I didn't have that problem anymore. Wow. And the energy was great. Um, yeah. And uh, right away, I got off of my um, medication for my GERD. I didn't have my heartburn anymore. And... Um, then I it was like, I'm going to chip away at some of these other ones. And so far, I got, I got my counter like Carrie does, you know. I got to have my counter. Yeah. I'm on day 276. Wow. So I'm off of five medications. Working on number six, I'm off all of my SSRIs. No more depression medications. I know I had really bad depression. Um, wow. If I hadn't had my kids and my grandkids, I probably wouldn't be here. Um, oh, wow. And that's why I was here. And now I don't have those feelings anymore. I, I love that. I love life. Yeah. It, it's, it's so freeing to not... No, I want to be here because I'm enjoying... My daughter says, mom, you can't vomit on everybody. And I try, I try not to, but <laughs> because it's helped me so much, you know, you hear somebody complain, sure. about, something, complain about something is like, I can help you. You know, it's like, mm, I gotta, I gotta tone it down a little bit. Just, you know, I actually said something to somebody the other day that was complaining. It's like, you know, you can do anything, you can do anything for 30 days. Right. You know, and it's like, just try this for 30 days. Sure. That's all you gotta do. You know, they're like, well, maybe. But a lot of people don't want to mm -hmm. give up their stuff. And it's like, sure. I, I did have some, you know, you battle. Sugar is the hardest thing. I battled with sugar sure. for so long. And um, uh, like Dr. Lisa, um, she battled with an eating disorder. And okay. I did too. And I was like, I had 
like bulimia, but I've also battled with anorexia as an adult and as a young, you know, in high school age. Sure. And it kind of triggered, I'm too, I'm really good at losing weight. I'm really good at losing weight. <laughs> I, every diet, I was really good at it. But then when you quit it, you know, you go back. And so I was an overachiever in some things, but then the sugar is so hard. It's like, I want to eat it, but then, oh, I'm not supposed to eat it, you know? But now that my <laughs> right. Re Re Rebecca is like, mom, it's poison. Right. And so once I got that, once I got that up here, it's poison. So now I can walk into Walmart and all that crap, it's poison. So it doesn't bother me anymore. I go in, I get my water, I get my burger patties now. I have chicken legs or wings and it's like the other stuff doesn't bother me. And Great. since I, I kicked the kicked the little bit of sugar I was doing, now the weight's coming off again. And I the only thing I struggle with is, you know, I'm not hungry because in 2013 I had gastric bypass. And okay. yes, I lost weight with that, but I'm actually 10 pounds less patties during the day. Or, you know, I know Dr. Lisa doesn't like sardines, but I do. So I'll eat a can of sardines or whatever. And sure. Yeah, I'm down almost 80 pounds from when I started. Wow. And like I said, I'm, yeah. And I'm, I feel great. I have the problem of I go through my closet. Nope, this is too big. Nope, this is too big. I mean, <laughs> Goodwill's getting get my benefits of not, but my clothes. It's like I'm down to a few clothes that I can wear, but yeah, I don't want to buy any more because, sure, you know, I, I'm gonna lose more weight because I'm not yeah. where I really really want to be, and I'm keeping sure. an eye on my muscles. I'm trying to keep my muscles built up, but I feel great, and oh, wow. and like That's my daughter's awesome. saying, "Mom, you look great," and I'm like. Yeah, I do. I do look good. I? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. You look great. 80 Thank pounds. You. That's quite an achievement. That's pretty amazing. It is. I know. And I'm like, gosh, and I feel so much better. It's like, I couldn't think of carrying around 10 or eight, 10 pound ball bowling balls anymore. I couldn't think of carrying around 10 or eight, 10 pound ball bowling balls anymore. Huh. So it's like, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, when you think I, about it. No wonder your body felt so bad right. for so long. Um, it's so much like inflammation and all this extra stuff you're carrying around that your body is not meant to carry. <laughs> um, my arthritis was so bad. My doctor tested me for um, rheumatoid arthritis. Yeah. Because I had my whole body, but I didn't. I just had regular arthritis. And, but now it's not bothering me at all. You know, I still have the bumps in my fingers and stuff, mm -hmm. but my knees and my hands, they're fine. You know, and wow. even a day like today, I would be in a lot of pain because now it's snowing here in Wisconsin mm -hmm. where, you know, the other day it was like 50 degrees and now it's snowing. So yeah. <laughs> you gotta yeah, love the Midwest. It's wonderful. <laughs> the depression. So when were you mm -hmm. diagnosed with that? Oh, I was diagnosed over 30 years ago. Um, oh wow. When my when my uh, my twins were little. Okay. They're 37 now. And so wow. it was when they were young, I was diagnosed with it. It's kind of a family trait that they keep passing along to us. <laughs> I hope it ends yeah. soon. Um, but yeah, sure. so I, I have OCD, manic depressive disorders, what they call it. But um, yeah, I'm they like to give us labels. <laughs> yeah, they do. They, doctors like <laughs> to label people. But, yeah. Um, um, how many, so you, were you on medications the entire time for like 30 years? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, for wow. About 30 years. I was on. Mm -hmm. And in your, in your viewpoint, did that help at all? Um, 
I think it did. They think it did. I still, you know, went to a psychologist and stuff. You know, you still have the thoughts in your head and stuff, but I had so much else going on. And I fought every day with pain and stuff that mm -hmm. I was, you know, you're numb. I think that's what it does. It makes you numb. Oh, and wow. now the medication. Not, the medication, I think it made me numb. I mean, now that I'm off the medication, right? Commercials make commercials make me cry, but you know what? I have emotions now that I didn't have for so long. Oh, you know, wow. um, that is okay. It's okay. Yeah, uh, it's okay. I watch Disney movies. I cry. Oh, we have right. emotions. We're allowed to. <laughs> that doesn't right. necessarily mean we have a label of some right. sort from somebody. Yeah. So I'm so but happy. I'm so, you, so you're off all of those medications. All of them. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. That's so incredible. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. I'm so happy about that. And and this is because you changed, you got the poison out of your body that you're eating. That's the poison out. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Do you mm -hmm. think because I like to hear people's viewpoints. Do you think it was a combination of getting the poison out and eating fatty meats? Or why do you think you were able to get off those medications? I think it was. It was getting the poison out. Okay. Um, no longer eating the sugars and the carbs and the junk. And eating what our bodies are meant to eat and what our bodies know what to do with. Um, right. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So you mentioned like you eat hamburger patties and sardines, but like what, it, how, how do you eat? <laughs> like, what are your main, what do you go shopping and get? If you get anything else than just those things? Um, I eat a, like my daughter does a lot of hamburger, not always hamburger patties. Hamburger patties are quick where Sure. I don't make a whole pound of hamburger and then have to eat it over a couple of days. I can just throw one hamburger patty in and eat it. Um, right. But, you know, yeah, it's a lot of hamburger I eat. I love steak and I can eat a steak will last me a couple of meals, you know. Oh, okay. Because I, yeah, because I don't eat a lot. Um, but I try and get enough in. It'll, you know, take me through two days. Sure. Um, so with, um, I'll, with gastric, oh, eggs. sorry. Oh, uh, I love eggs <laughs> mm -hmm. with gastric bypass. Does that mean they like stapled your stomach or put a balloon in or something? What did they, what does that mean? That means I had the bypass. So they made my stomach about the size of an egg. Oh, and they okay. Did the ruin why, where they took part of my small intestine and hooked it up to that smaller stomach and took okay. that down to my small intestine. So yeah, I have a stomach about that size, you know, and yeah. so it's hard to get stuff in there and then I get full and I can't eat too sure. much because it'll go one way or the other. So, <laughs> and so I was curious of having that stomach operation that mm -hmm. bypass surgery is like why you're, right. I'm like a steak in three days. That's it's because you can't eat so much yeah. at one, one setting. Okay. Right. Now I'm like, my daughter will eat a whole pound of hamburger by herself. And yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I understand. So do you eat like multiple times a day? Is that how you're eating? Or are you just I, hungry once a day? I'm, I'm terrible at it. I'm usually hungry once a day, but I try and throw in a snack here or there to get more in, you know, like grab a, a boiled egg. You know, um, big thing. I used to have neuropathy in my hands and my feet. Okay. And it's now gone. That's huge. Yes. Um, I actually, a few weeks, you've heard of Bill, not everybody's knows Bill. Sure. Bill's um, super famous. <laughs> yes. And his numbness that he has from his feet up to his chest yeah, I had it a few weeks before he did. Oh, wow. And I still have that. It's not as bad as it was. But after I got that, <coughs> my neuropathy in my hands and my feet is now gone. I can feel the bottoms of my feet. I can feel my fingertips now. 
of my fingers. Um, and so I'm like, hey, I'm sure that the numbness is just the, what do they call it? The stuff leaving your body. Yeah. You know, the poison's leaving because it's gotten better. Mm. So this is something so, that happened while on carnivore. While yeah. on carnivore. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I used to not be able to feel them. I'm like, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad because I used to reach in the oven and grab stuff out when it was hot. I'd get yelled at by my daughter. <laughs> I'm sure. And now my my service and my service dog Claire is on carnivore too, and her food of course is in the freezer. Sure. And I bring it up from downstairs. What's extra? And I'm gonna have to start wearing gloves to do that because now it's so cold. <laughs> I can feel it. So yeah. and my hands and feet are cold all the time, but. I'm sure that'll regulate itself, but Hey, sure. I can feel the bottoms of my feet and I can feel my fingers. So I am just so shocked to get that back. I wow. thought it was gone forever. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's great. Yeah. These it things is. are so uh, crazy. So yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, what would be like the strangest thing that you've observed from since you've eaten this way? I no longer have to take an allergy pill. Wow. Yeah. Another I, interesting thing. Yeah. I used to take an allergy pill all through the year. And I don't have to do that anymore. Um, unless I eat a lot of cheese. Oh, so I don't yeah. know if I'm a little sensitive to dairy. Sure. But otherwise, yeah. I don't have to do that. So, and... Another good thing is I still take pills for my migraines. I used to get migraines so bad. I was in the ER several times a month. And oh, no. yeah, I still get the Botox shots for it. Okay. But even though I was getting Botox shots and shots in the base of my skull, I would still get a migra migraine once, twice a month, but I was still getting headaches during the day. Not okay. enough to put me in bed. But since I've been on carnivore, I don't get daily headaches anymore. I love that. I do too. I'm like, <laughs> it's so terrible. Like, you know, yeah, when the weather gets really bad changing around it's like the barometric pressure i'll get sure. a little headache but i'm not suffering with a headache every day i love I'm that like, oh my God, this is cool. so bad i really yeah. love this I, you know because you get like i don't know about you but you get into a habit of having pain every day and you know my pain scale is probably different than other people's because i live with pain every day Mm -hmm. You know, my five is probably somebody else's 10. And to have a headache every day, it was like a three to a five. And now I don't have one every day. Oh, my God. That's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Like, hey, I can handle this. You know, I really like yeah. this. And to be able to have the energy that I do, it's like. I go, I got to find things to do because I'm like, hmm. My house is put together other than, okay, I went through, went through downstairs the other day. I went through boxes of summer stuff and I'm like, oh, that's too big. That's too big. Okay. And it's like, I'm going through my garage when it's warm enough here in Wisconsin, you know, going through this. I don't need this anymore. I don't need that anymore, you know? Yeah. And yeah. So it's like, come on, warm weather. I want to be outside doing something. Sure. <laughs> sure. And I think I do in the house. What a wonderful problem. Like yes. you feel so good. You need to find mm -hmm. stuff to do at the time because you're not debilitated anymore, if that's right. the right word yeah. in there. Yeah. To, I know you're talking to other people. It's like, yeah, your pain's gone. You don't understand. It's gone, you know? Yeah. 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 Did you be able to like operate when you couldn't before or under certain circumstances is yes. like, it's so nice. friend that I see and. He doesn't understand. He calls it a cult. I'm like, you don't understand. <laughs> but yet, who's the one rushing?
going to the bathroom or complaining his stomach is hurting, but you won't right. try it. Right. You know? Yeah. It's cramp. And it's like, but when I won't eat something, he's like, ah, you just won't eat that. No, I choose not to eat that because right. I know what it does to me. Right. So, yeah, exactly. You don't want to mm -hmm. feel the depression because you had some ice cream. Like this life is not worth it. There's so many more mm -hmm. better things to mm -hmm. achieve. <laughs> and we're so used to like the mouth pleasure. We, yeah. in the last hundred years, so many things were created just for mouth pleasure, but it ruins every other aspect yeah. that you should be enjoying in life. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, um, let me see if you wanted to like inspire somebody, what would be your words of wisdom eating this way? Um, if you at all are having, you know, the pain, the stomach issues, if you just feel off, you can do anything for 30 days. I mean, give, give your body a chance to heal just for 30 days. You can do anything for 30 days. Day 31, you want to go back to eating the way you're eating, do it. But see how you feel. I mean, what is it going to hurt you? It's not. Um, and wouldn't it be awesome if some of the things that are bothering you go away and you feel awesome for those 30 days? I mean, yes, it's not probably going to be day five, but let's say day 10, you're like, wow, I feel awesome. Wouldn't it be great for those next 20 days to feel great? And then day 31, you go, I think I'm going to keep doing this, you know? Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. That's lovely. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you would like to communicate? Communicate. <laughs> or say. <laughs> wow. I, all I can say is I had probably the biggest list of things that were wrong with me besides the IBS and the GERD and anxiety and depression and uh, sleep apnea and hypertension, you know, it's just the list goes on and on, you know, and now it's come down to so little just by changing a simple thing like what I put in my body. Now I can list on one hand what goes in my body. I mean, meat, salt, water, eggs, bacon. I mean, and that's a meat. I mean, <laughs> right. And it's, it's so simple that anybody can do it. If, if you can get up here to regulate what goes in here, mm -hmm. I'm going to take it from Dr. Lisa. Is it going to help? Or is it going to harm you? Is this going to make you feel better? Mm -hmm. And you're not doling out for prescriptions or making prescription, taking these pills that have all these other side effects that you don't know what's going to happen. I mean, look at all these people that are taking these Ozempic and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the side effects that are now coming out that this is just a little bit of time that they've started and they've already, you know, stomach paralysis and all these other side effects that they just now are bringing out that are, and as soon as these people stop sticking themselves for this, they're going to get the weight or is going to come back on and right. they're going to have issues mm -hmm. where, you know, yeah, I feel good and I'm going to do this the rest of my life. I'm not going to have to go through. I mean, my shopping is so simple. I go through, <laughs> get my water, get my meat. I don't even have to go to the store to buy eggs because I get them from my sister. So, but less time in the store, less time in the bathroom. I don't have to, pretty soon I'm not going to have to go to the pharmacy to get any medications anymore. Wow. Yeah. I, I mean, my life has gotten so much easier and so much better 
just by changing mm-hmm. the little bit that you do. Mm-hmm. So why wouldn't you? Right. Okay. That's yeah. awesome. That's, yeah. That's awesome. I said, besides all the cool people I've met. <laughs> oh my God. So many cool people. I had no idea that this was going to be a result of talking about the carnivore diet. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Including you, including you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching this far, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. If you would like to support my channel further, these are some items that are in my store. There is a link in the description, but it's also below the video if you are in US and Canada. Um, Check out this artwork, it's beautiful. It's my mom's original artwork and I decided to pop it on a bunch of cups. Cups and other things. We also have like pillows, all sorts of stuff. So check out the link. If any of this, if you'd like any of this, feel free to get something. I would love to sell 100,000 of these items this year. I know I'm a big dreamer. Um, But if you wanna help with that and you like this artwork and you like these things, go ahead and get something and that'll support me greatly. Thank you so much. Talk to y'all later.